Hey everyone, North Central here. Thanks for tuning in. You know, it's the middle of January. It's cold outside. There's snow underground. In fact, there's about four inches of snow underground right now. We're downstairs in my lovely unfinished basement down in the little corner here that's all cleaned out. And I've been thinking about it for a couple years, wanting to try it, and I just haven't done it. And this year I decided this was the time to do it. I'm going to get into a little bit of hydroponics and see how it goes. And I think to start off, what I want to do is get into more of a floating set hydroponics. So I went through the internet and I found a couple of different designs and I finally found one that I liked. And it's a box and you make it out of simple two by sixes, okay? And a sheet of plywood or this is actually OSB board. Now I got this stuff at Lowe's and I got the measurements that I needed and I just had them cut it for me. So I ended up getting a total of five two by sixes, and this is just a regular two by six, okay? And I had them, they were two by six by eights, and I had them cut three of them in half because the ones that I'm gonna be making are gonna be out of the sheets of plywood. I had them cut in three equal sections, which is 32 inches across, four feet wide, okay? So, if you have them cut two two by six by eights in half, of course that's 48 inches a piece, which is four feet, which goes with the long ways of the board that you're gonna be using on your backing. So I had six of these made. Of course with the plywood, you get three sections when you cut it into 32s. And then out of two two by sixes by eights, I had them do these, and these are 29 inches. And the reason for that is when you make the box, these are gonna be in the inside, like so. And the outside boards are gonna be coming up against it. When you have an outside board here, and an outside board here, this will equal just about 32 inches. So, what you need to do for each box is, of course, one sheet of plywood, it is four foot by 32 inches. Two two by sixes that are 29 inches, and two two by sixes that are 48 inches, and then of course the screws and stuff to put it together with. And that's what we're going to do right now is get into putting this together. Okay, so putting this together ought to be really easy. I'm just going to get one piece of your 29 inch two by six, one piece. Of your two by six that's 48 inches or four feet and I want to get the smoothest side on the inside because I'm going to have plastic on the inside of it I don't want to tear the plastic so the smoothest side goes in match your corners up these are three inch deck screws and I like using three inch deck screws on just about most of my projects Get my old trusted drill out here. The first thing I like to do is just pre-start my holes about an inch from the bottom, an inch from the side, and just start it in. Just makes life a little bit nicer and easier. Try and even up your boards as much as you can. Sometimes it's easier to do things without a table.
Okay, so we've got the frame made. Now it's time to put the OSB board on. And with this OSB board, you have a rough side and then you have a real smooth side that they coated with like a plastic or something. Put the real smooth side on the inside of the box, okay? Because that's where my plastic is going to be laying and I don't want to get any, any uh, splinters or something like that and poke holes in it. So this comes up, sits right down on top of it, and line it up and try to even it up as much as you can. It's wood, so not everything is going to fit just perfect with it, but you know, get it close. And then take your screws. Okay, so we've got the top on, and be screwing it down now and I'm going to be using these two inch screws instead of the three inch screws very easily come over to the corners and screw them right down Okay, so we've got the box completed. We've got screws all the way around it. It's nice and tight. Uh, you know, you can paint it if you want to, the edges and the outsides if you want. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be that too particular about it. The next step is going to be to uh, put the plastic inside of it. And I don't have the plastic yet, so that'll be in the next video. I appreciate you watching. Till next time, this is North Central.